Hi crafters, it's Hannah from Handcrafted Creations. Welcome to my channel. This is the card that we're going to be making for this week's Wednesday Challenge video. We're going to be using a card sketch which is right here, which you will be able to find over on my website if you want to have the actual sketch as well. And we're going to be using the Butterfly Basics uh, stamp set and the coordinating dies. These are retiring, so if you want to get it, um, get it now, basically. There'll be a link in the description for the stamp set and for the card sketch. So, let's get started. Okay, so I've got a Sweet Sugar Plum card base. And I've had an idea something I'm going to try. I don't know if it's going to work. We will see. So my idea was to um, do some stamping along here so we kind of got this thing going on and then emboss but only emboss up to the stamping so run it through like that and then run it through like so. So I've never done that before so we'll see and I'm actually going to use my Stamparatus this time just to um, get this bit lined up nicely so a lot of you will have seen this by now so I don't need to explain too too much so it's a stamping platform and you've got one plate that goes here and another plate that can go whoops here so you can stamp stamp two-step stamping is a doddle with this thing <laughs> so for today though we're just going to use the one so I'm going to stamp it and then move it along so if I start it uh, here so magnet there make sure that's straight so I'm going to go about there, so I'm going to pick that up, make sure it is stuck on, and I'm going to use, what shall I use, rose red. So ink, actually if I do that you might be able to see, even better, I've just shifted everything. <laughs> Yeah, you can see the whole thing there. So I'm just inking it up this side and then stamp that down. Sorry, a wire is hanging and it's doing my head in. <laughs> stamp that down. Awesome. And then I'm going to move it along to, so I've stepped it up. So I missed one, missed one and moved it to there and that should just about, I think, be perfectly lined up. Ah, awesome. Okay, so I'll move it on another two and that will get the end. Now what I am going to do, which I haven't done yet, is cut some grid paper this size so that I can cover this bit and the um, foam mat as well but I just haven't got around to it yet but it's alright for now because, well it didn't get on there anyway but this is wipeable so if it had got on there then you can just wipe it off anyway okie dokie so that worked perfectly could really do with another bit there but it's alright I'm not that fussed. So let's pop this back. Magnet goes underneath. And we'll just move all that out of the way. Okay. Whoop. Just got it stored in a box over there. Right, so that's that bit done. So now I'm going to emboss it, running th run it through the big shot, and I'm going to line up 
the embossing folder with the edge of the stamping like that and I'm actually going to bring it in I think so you can see we can see together whether or not this is going to work because it might not so take off the thin die adapter one plate goes on and then just line it up Place it down. And then run that through. Let's see what we've got. Ooh, yeah, it worked. Awesome. So we can do the other side now. Just line it up. Make sure it's nice and straight. And then run that through. <clears throat> awesome. Right, let me move this big shot out of the way and then I can show you properly. <laughs> there we go so you can see it's just embossed either side of our stamping yay it worked da, da, da. okay so we've got the background and this stripe bit done so for the focal image I'm going to use I've got some shimmer paper and I'm just going to put some colour down on there um, so I've got the berry burst and a bit of rose red a little sweet sugar plum and just a touch of tangerine tango so all I'm going to do is give it a bit of a, a colour wash and then die cut out of it so we'll go, so I'm just using my aqua painter just to pick up some colour. And I'm squeezing as I go so the water is flowing as well. A little rose red. Sweet sugar plum. I'm sort of blending them all together as well. Now I'm not squeezing, I'm just adding some colour. So it's not exactly one of the colours, it's kind of a a mixture of all three and then just for a little bit of something different just going to add a little bit of tangerine tango just blend that through a little bit so you're not going to see all of this because we're going to cut it so just kind of want a nice wash of there we go so this obviously has to dry so we're going to let that dry and then we can carry on with what can we carry on with <laughs> uh, let me think. Just close these. Uh, let me see. So 
So, oh, oh, I did it on the wrong piece. <laughs> oh no, I haven't. It's ignore me. That's fine. So yeah, I'm going to let this dry and we can carry on with um, this piece. We're going to make some flowers. So this is rose red, so I want rose red ink. So this is going to be for the focal image part. So I just want to stamp. Oh yeah, I forgot there was that in there. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, I just want to stamp some of this one. And it doesn't have to be exact. I just want some texture on the paper. This is going to be Putting it out anyway. So I'm just filling it up the space and yeah, that's good. So I've literally just gone all over and covered it. Whoops covered it all so you can see it's not any particular rhyme or reason so I've got the pansy punch which is retiring sad times so I'm going to punch out a few of these I'm not sure how many I want mm. I'll sort of punch them all out Okay, so we've got five. Awesome. So the first thing we want to do is crinkle them up. And then I just need to grab one thing I forgot. I've got a spritzer bottle with some rain cream. I'm not actually sure what <laughs> colour is even in there, but it doesn't really matter. So I've just popped them on my stamp and scrub. And then I'm just going to give them a spritz as well. Make sure that all sides are spritzed. And spritzed well so you can see they're nicely spritzed on all sides whoops and give them a good squeeze again and another quick spritz okay then gently open them back up and they're going to have some texture and some interesting colour variations okay so now we do have to let all of this dry and this bit dry and then as soon as it's done I will be back so they're nice and dry now. I did get a little bit impatient and use my heat gun um, for that. But this is dry now so we can do our die cutting out of it. And I'm going to use one of the butterflies and die cut right there. And then this little strip, we keep that because we're going to use it um, in a little bit. So I'll just die cut that and be right back. Okay, so I've cut the butterfly out and the bottom of the piece of cardstock I've just cut off a little bit and left some of the uh, the edge just there. So we're going to use that um, as well. So what we'll do next is put the flower together I think. So we've got a few petals so they're nicely textured now so we can 
canned, <laughs> that's not a word, Hannah. So we can <laughs> layer them up, and I think because I've got five, I'm gonna have one in the middle and then sort of put the others around it to make it bigger, if that makes sense. So I put glue all on the back of this one in the middle and sort of a little bit up to the petals but not all the way to the edge of the petals like so and then this one I can place with the petal nearly to the middle like that and then do the same on the opposite side so we've got that yeah and then do the same, a little bit more glue in here. Even go. Maybe go in a little bit further actually. Yeah, so just past the halfway mark then. And then that one. And that one. So what we've done is, whoops, made the flower bigger just by adding extra flowers to the outside. So you kind of just want to scrunch this all up together. You can see I'm sort of squeezing and pushing in to the middle. It's going to get a little bit sticky, but that's fine. And then eventually, we'll just squeeze it all up together, like that. Oops, I'll pull that off. And then you want to let that dry and it kind of does look like a bit like of a mess at the moment but we'll uh, finagle it a little bit so let that dry and then i'll be right back okay so that's pretty much dry now and we can put everything together now i think so this little strip here i'm just going to stamp on that with we'll go with rose red And then we're going to add some ruffliness to it. Actually, I'm going to use Berry Burst because the ribbon I'm going to use is Berry Burst. So this is just the bottom of where we watercoloured our shimmer paper. Did I say it was shimmer paper by the way? I can't even remember. I'm just going to stamp over to the right. Cool. And then I've got some of the, what's it called? Finely woven ribbon in Berry Burst. And this is going to be retiring as well. So I thought I'd use it. But instead of just sticking it straight on the bottom, I'm going to ruffle it. So put a line of fast fuse along the bottom and then I'm going to start let me think the end of the sentiment and I'm going to stick into the adhesive and then I'm going to ruffle So sort of folding it up a little bit and then folding it like that and sticking it into the adhesive. So on that end you're going to kind of get that shape, that side even. So we're ruffling, shall I zoom in so you can see it really well? 
there we go. So I'm just folding it up and then sticking it down. So ruffle, ruffle, ruffle. So then when you flip it over, you've got that. So I think I'll add another bit of adhesive there just so I can cut it and then actually it's ruffle it so fold it over again into the adhesive just so the end is neat. Yeah. I like it. So you can ruffle it so um, this is the part that you see as well. So if you were stamping on that side, and that would look really pretty as well. But I thought for this one, we would do it so the ruffles are on the bottom. Now we can put everything together. So this piece, oh, let me zoom back out. <laughs> Come on. There we go. So this is the piece that we embossed part of it and that's going to get stuck down and I'm going to use wet glue because of the embossing. That looks so cool. I'm definitely going to try that again. I don't know why I not, hadn't thought of that before. That's that part. So bring the sketch. And then we need a piece that's going to go across. So that's going to be this piece. So we've got a lot of ruffliness going on here. So what I'm going to do is add some fast fuse to the cardstock part. And then for this bit, I'm just going to pop a couple of glue dots on so um, it's not popping off the card so too much so in just a couple of spots well it'll probably be easier doing it that way she says <laughs> should do it. So then bring this in. And about there. So I press that down really well. And that should stay. Whoop! <laughs> And then just for our focal image here, we've got our flat, uh, butterfly, but I wanted something for him to sit on. So, <laughs> like I said, it kind of looks like a dog's dinner, but we're just going to scrunch it up a little bit more, just so he's kind of sitting on something. So you're not going to see a lot of it. See, when you pop that on top, it's kind of just something for him to be sitting on. See? It does look better, honestly. So you've kind of scrunched it to the size you want, so there's a lot of um, texture and it's not completely even, which is good. And then I'm going to squish it a little bit. So you've kind of got a funky looking thing and then a butterfly can sit on it. So what I'm going to do is put some fast fuse down and stick it onto the fast fuse. So then really scrunch and press it into that fuse. You can see it's just kind of a thing <laughs> for a butterfly to sit on. 
and we're going <coughs> to curl his wings up and then he's going to sit on there and I think what will be best um, maybe a couple of glue dots I think probably the best way to go so pop one in the middle of his body and I think I can get another one the bottom of his tail yeah and we're good so then we'll press him in to our flowery thing <laughs> and then you can bend his wings a little bit more and there you have it and I do think he needs some more bling you never have too much bling on a butterfly so we'll get some rhinestones on him One there, then the next size down. Oops. Then the little one. Ah. <laughs> so, what do you think compared to the card sketch? So you can see. <clears throat> Excuse me, I haven't done a circle and it, I haven't got circles exactly there but it's just to get an idea of a layout for a card. So I hope that you have enjoyed watching this tutorial. Um, 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 um. <laughs> I will put another couple of videos over there for you to watch with the, what's it called, Butterfly Basic Stamp Set. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.